All right, as we uh, welcome you back for the final segment of hour number two of the three-hour Steve Molsberg extravaganza, uh, we're joined right now by uh, former Congressman Pete Hoekstra, uh, former chair of the uh, House Intelligence Committee. Hello. Hey, hi, Steve. How are you? Good? Actually, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm probably just like you. I'm totally concerned about what this president is doing in foreign policy. Well, you, you, you wrote a great piece, you and uh, Fred Flights, uh, uh, chief analyst at Lignet, uh, for Newsmax.com, uh, it's up there right now, uh, talking about uh, how the uh, the nuclear deal that Obama is about to strike is as deceptive as Obamacare. Uh, it really is. I mean, this president, ever since, uh, what was it, 2009, has wanted to strike a deal with Iran. It, uh, you know, this is uh, when the people in Iran revolted against their regime uh, in the Green Revolution back in 2009. He stood with the government of Iran. And, uh, you know, now, you know, what really makes me nervous, any time a president is negotiating a foreign policy agreement uh, with uh, a country like Iran or North Korea, and they're doing it when, they're, when they are politically weak at home, uh, you've got to be really, really nervous about it. Bottom line is, I think this president wants to do anything and everything he can to divert attention from the failures of Obamacare and try to sound like, uh, you know, he's, he's just pulled off a sweetheart deal for Iran, uh, with Iran. But the bottom line, this is a deal that's good for Iran and a deal for Iran uh, with Iran. But the bottom line, this is a deal that's good for Iran and knows uh, this is really going to be, a, from everything we've heard, this is going to be in a, a deal that's good for Iran and bad for everybody else. Yeah, I was going to ask you about Netanyahu. He had very, very strong words uh, saying that this was a, a you know the best possible deal Iran could ever hope for, uh, that it's a terrible deal for the rest of the world, Israel and the United States included. And, you know, there's also reports out today that uh, long before uh, a, a deal was within reach, the United States was quietly lifting some of the financial sanctions. Uh, this is a report by Eli Lake and Josh Rogan that they were they were lifting the financial sanctions. Some of the financial sanctions. Uh, this is a report by Eli Lake and Josh Rogan that they were they were lifting the financial sanctions. The sanctions um, and Iran is sitting back and laughing all the way to the bank, so to speak. Uh, not so to speak, probably literally. Um, and you know, you can you take a look at, you know, number one, this is a. Yeah, a huge problem for the United States. The second thing, it is a huge problem for Israel. Take a look at what this president's foreign policy has done over the last uh, three or four years. Uh, you know, embracing the Muslim Brotherhood uh, in Egypt, and uh, you know, now standing aside as the Muslim Brotherhood is overthrown uh, and the military comes back in. But during that period of time, the Sinai Peninsula, right there on Israel's southern border has become a hotbed for radical jihadists, uh, for al-Qaeda elements. So Israel's now threatened uh, on its southern border because of this president's foreign policy. Now with this agreement with Iran, uh, you know, I think Iran's going to, you know, get closer to a nuclear weapon. I'm actually kind of surprised they don't have one right now. I think if they uh, really wanted to put, uh, to get one, they could get one very, very quickly. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, and, and to the rest of the world, Steve, to the rest of the world, once again, America looks weak. It's, you know, when America looks weak, others are coming in to fill the vacuum. There's a reason why Putin uh, is in Egypt today. He sees an opportunity to get Russia back into the Middle East. China's in the Middle East. They're in northern Africa. Uh, America's losing its global respect and its global position each and every and, day because we have an ill-defined foreign policy and possibly possibly by design let me ask you uh, uh one more time we're talking to uh, uh, congressman pete hoekstra let me ask you again about Be uh, netanyahu um do you believe that uh israel will uh, uh will not be i don't want to say intimidated or not be deterred even if an agreement is signed if they believe that it's a it's as terrible an agreement as you you think it is and fred flights thinks it is and 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 Richard Pearl thinks it is, and, and Netanyahu himself th that they would not be deterred from taking military action if they felt it needed, even the, uh, notwithstanding an agreement that the United States has signed with Iran. Uh, it makes it very very difficult for uh, for our friends in Israel. How do you attack Iran uh, and know that the United States is not going to support you? 
Uh, I think Iran, or excuse me, Israel has been just, uh, you know, they've been holding back for months uh, because I think they felt there was going to be a need to, ta- to attack Iran uh, to stop their nuclear program. They've bitten their tongue as this president has been involved in the Middle East. Uh, and, you know, they've wanted to say some things critical of this president, uh, but being very restrained because they knew that at some point they were going to probably have to attack Iran and they were going to need America's support. Uh, I think they're now at the point where they recognize that um, this country is probably more than willing to accept Iran with a nuclear weapon uh, and that if Israel decides to attack Iran to stop that from happening, I think there's a high probability this president will not support our friends. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Congressman Pete Hoekstra, former chair of the House Intelligence Committee, former congressman from Michigan. As always, thank you, sir. We will stay in touch. Thanks, Absolutely. Pete. Take care. Say hello to Fred, uh, Fred Flight's good friend as well. Thank you, sir. We will stay in touch. Thanks, Absolutely. Pete. Take care. Say hello to Fred, uh, Fred Flight's good friend as well. There's the Jets, the Falcons, the Ravens. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with the Dolphins. We're going to talk about uh, R-rated movies for kids without parents and the Typhoon. Steve Malsberg Show.